you were lucky, you looked up in the night sky and saw the northern lights. The Aurora Borealis gracing the landscape here in the mid-state this week, sending many running for their phones, marveling at the rare event. Look at all these great pictures. They're expected to appear once again tonight. Ahead of that showing, our Nikki Hauser talked with an expert about what makes these colors in the sky possible. It's something you'd expect to see on a trip to Alaska or Iceland. But this week, the northern lights showed up above our own front door. So I, I stepped out the front door and saw them over my neighbor's house. And I was like, oh, it was, it was so bright. It looked so beautiful. This local photographer captured these stunning images Tuesday night. It's awesome to be able to capture it. And I'm just glad that I'm at a place in my photography journey and with the equipment to be able to capture it the way that I have. Eclipses bring people out and um, the Aurora Borealis brings people out. Like an eclipse, a northern lights appearance is a pretty rare event. So how is it even possible? Electrons and protons from the sun are heading our way. Ron Henderson, who's the chair of physics and astronomy at MTSU, says the aurora borealis appears when the sun flares or explodes, sending particles down to Earth. Every 11 years, this tends to happen, and in the right conditions, it manifests as gorgeous, sweeping colors painting the sky, even as far as Tennessee. What happens is there's so many particles that they don't get all used up at the North Pole. They start making it further and further south. So the more particles there are, the further south you get to see it. So cool. And what's even cooler is experts knew this was going to happen. The sun flare essentially gives them a heads up. Predicting it's pretty cool, yeah. It, we're just lucky that protons and electrons are slow. You know, if they got here too fast, we'd have to say, oh, it's coming in five minutes. But no, it's kind of nice we can say one to three days. Which makes it a pretty special event we don't have to travel for. That's kind of exciting. Yeah. I'm staying up. <laughs> Nikki Hauser, News Channel 5. Henderson predicts you'll be able to see the northern lights again tonight between best timing now and 2 in the morning. He said it's also possible for the colors to appear again tomorrow. The best way to see them, well, we suggest you got to get out of town, that's for sure. Got to find a dark place, not a lot of light pollution. And look at this cool interactive map. You can find those spots through this map, and it's on our website. Good luck.